Well, have you ever visited the beautiful city of Kerala and enjoyed a boat ride on the backwaters of this region? Well, if you haven't, then you must plan for a trip to this beautiful city. Kerala is so beautiful and unique that it is also known as God's own creation. Now, Kerala is a part of coastal plains of India. Let's locate this region on map of India. Well, this map shows some of the major physiographic divisions of peninsular India like peninsular plateau, coastal plains and the mountain ranges of southern India. Now, in our previous two lessons, we have vividly talked about Peninsular Plateau. This plateau forms the central and southern part of India and the region is bounded by Western Ghats on its western sides and Eastern Ghats on its eastern sides. Now, in today's lesson, we shall be discussing about another major physical feature of Peninsular India that is the coastal plains. Well, these coastal plains are very long and they form the margin of the Indian Peninsula. The plain line to the west of Western Ghats is known as Western Coastal Plain and the plain line to the east of Eastern Ghats is known as Eastern Coastal Plain. So, Western Coastal Plain and Eastern Coastal Plain comprises the entire coastal plains of India and as we can see here, it is very long. Also, the eastern coastal plain and western coastal plain meet at the southernmost tip of mainland India that is Kanyakumari. So, Kanyakumari is the meeting point of western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains. Now, we shall discuss about each of these plains in details individually. Well, coming to the western coastal plain. Western coastal plain stretches from Gujarat in the north to Kerala in the south and it passes over the states of Maharashtra, Goa and Karnataka. The western coastal plain is very long and can be divided into two parts. The northern part is known as Konkan coast and the southern part is known as Malabar coast. Also, the western coastal plain is highly indented and here we find some natural harbours. One such harbour is the Mumbai port which is the largest harbour of India. Well, now let me explain you what are harbours. A harbour is a partially enclosed area at the base or river mouths. And since this region is semi-enclosed, so they can protect the ship from waves, winds and ocean currents. So here at the harbours, the ship can be safely anchored. So when a coastline is highly intended, there we find natural harbours and one such harbour is Mumbai port and in fact it is the largest harbour of India. Well, before proceeding with our lesson, let us try to answer this objective. Dash is the largest harbour of India and the options given are Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Haldia. Which of them do you think is the correct one? Well, you can't remember. We just read that Mumbai is the largest harbour of India. So, the correct option will be Mumbai. As mentioned previously, at the eastern margin of the peninsular India, we have eastern coastal plains. Eastern coastal plain stretches from Urissa to Tamil Nadu and it also comprises a small portion of Andhra Pradesh. Again, the eastern coastal plain can also be further divided into two parts. The northern part is known as Northern Circus and the southern part is known as Coromandel Coast. Well, in our previous lesson, while discussing about the Tekken Plateau, I mentioned that a number of peninsular rivers originate from the Western Ghats and then they flow eastwards to join the Bay of Bengal. Now, some of these rivers are Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. These rivers form huge deltas at their mouth and the deltas formed by these rivers are also the part of eastern coastal plains. 
so eastern coastal plain consists of deltas formed by peninsular rivers and these deltas as we know is a triangular shaped or fan shaped alluvial plain that is formed due to huge deposition of silt and alluvium brought by these rivers well another interesting feature of the eastern coastal plain is the presence of lagoons now what are lagoons Lagoons are salt water lakes which were once a part of a huge sea but somehow got separated from the main body of water. Now the largest lagoon of India is Chilka Lake which is a part of eastern coastal plains and belongs to the state of Odisha. This Chilka Lake is rich in biodiversity and contains some endangered species like green sea turtles also a host of migratory birds and some fishes can be found here thus chilka lake in odisha is a home to many migratory birds and sea green turtles now due to this chilka lake is also an important tourist attraction of odisha so we discussed that coastal plain is a major physiographic division of india that forms the margin of peninsular india and this can be divided into two parts western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain we shall now compare between these two plains western coastal plain as we know is a narrow strip of coastal plain which is bordered by western ghats on one side and arabian sea on the other side conversely eastern coastal plain is comparatively wider and it is bordered by eastern ghats on one side and bay of bengal on the other side the second point of distinction is that western coastal plain can be divided into konkan coast and malabar coast whereas eastern coastal plain can be divided into northern sirkas and koromandel coast and lastly the backwaters of kerala which is very famous is a part of western coastal plain so western coastal plain consists of backwaters conversely eastern coastal plain include large deltas that are formed by various peninsular rivers like mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri so these are the major points of distinction between western and eastern coastal plain and these western and eastern coastal plain together comprises the coastal plains of india so that's all about today's discussion on coastal plains of india in our next lesson we shall be focusing on thar desert which is an interesting physical feature of india don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now